This one met me at the dough. Okay. <laughs> It's your girl Bite Size Bubs, and I'm coming at you with another tasting. Mm -hmm. Today I have my boy Phil. Nice to meet y'all. Y'all, I absolutely love Phil. No, like I say I love everybody, but I don't think I understand. This one's a little different. Right. I think they call it agape. Is that what it is? Call it agape. But today I am tasting red wine, and I could do it with no one else. The film. Oh, I do love a good red wine. You are my red wine I guy. I do. Red wine to me is like that drink. Anybody come up with anything to drink? Can I get you a vodka? Can I get you a margarita? You got a red wine? I need a good red wine though because you need to know the difference. Okay. A good red wine. And I think today we're going to drink some good red wine. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know I have been talking about this middle star of our show right here, the Coco Bond. Y'all already know, the Coco Bond is a roasted oak red blend that has been aged in espresso oak barrels. Mm. It's the espresso that's, that's got it, my eye. That's what's knocking on the door for me too. Peeking on the I would say. <laughs> yes. First and foremost, love the bottle. Beautiful. I love a good, anytime you can put the black on the gold and on the red, it just shows a certain form of elegance to me. Can I read it for the people? Go ahead, read it for us. Everything you love about Coco Bond, but richer. This dark red imparts aromas and flavors of roasted oak and vanilla after being aged on toasted French oak. Coco Bond roasted oak was carefully crafted with notes of deep, rich fruit flavors, followed by hints of chocolate and espresso with a touch of spice on the finish. Just a dash. That's all we need. That sounds sexy as I don't know what. Espresso, chocolate, fruits. 14% on the alcohol, cause you know I'm all about my numbers. We're gonna take ourselves over to Spain here. Let's see, what we got? Globarati. 2018 vintage. Come on. It's I like the graphic though. I like these bottles. I feel like we've gotten some bottles that have definitely been like really dope to the eye though. I got that from my local Whole Foods. And the reason I got that, it was a Tempranillo wine. I've never heard of that before. And also it was the very last one on the shelf. Come on. So, that says something in itself We need the last one on the shelf. Getting in ahead of the competition, Globarati stalks the finest vineyards of the world, swooping in at the opportune moment. Opportune moment? Didn't you just say you got the last one? The last Come one. Come on now. <laughs> to bring you the latest sensational wine, tease your palate with this opulent Tempranillo from Spain, grown on the country's hot and arid high central plateau. This juicy Tempranillo has concentrated cherry and plum flavors topped with overtones of vanilla and cedar. The firm structure of this Tempranillo is softened by barrel aging in French and American oak. I got this one at 13%. It's okay. the vanilla. It's the mm. vanilla for me. But it's vanilla with the cedar. And I already kind of get the, the oaky thought about it. I don't like that. Mm. And it's the cherry and the plum. Come on. Mm. Now, lastly, this year, We've got the man family, Pinotage, the boss talk. This is from South Africa, now you know. Ooh, you already got me, let me see. South Africa, let me see. get into that film. Let me see. Oh man, so we got boss talk refers to the untrellished bush vine vineyards that make up more than half of the vineyards of our region. The boss talk Pinotage vineyards grow close to the ground producing lower yields of concentrated flavorful grapes. I got this one at 13.5, so we got this one in between the other two. I like okay. that. Okay, so you know what? This is what I think we should do. What's up? Let's go from least to greatest. Let's start with the 13% mm. global Rani, hit you with a South African 13.5, and end out on that Coco Bond, because that's 14%. Let me see. That's gonna be a good time. First and foremost, I wanna say that it is a privilege to be here this afternoon. The smell. Mm. It smells like a good time. It's bright it and it's fruity. What hints do you get from this one? 
Definitely cherry. Cherry and plum. So mm -hmm. that's what we're cherry supposed to and get. plum. Overtones of vanilla. Mm. You wanna know what I taste out of those fruits? Mm. I get the plum. Because it's so tart on I the front end. I get the plum. You wanna know what? I feel as if I don't have a lot of wines that really have a, a noticeable plum taste. You get quite a few wines that have some plum in it. This one kind of puts it up to the front of the class a little bit for me. I can definitely see where that cedar comes in at on at the, the end. Oaky part. Yes, absolutely. It's definitely at absolutely. the end. This, is, this would be a good wine for like this time of year, honestly. That nice little oaky, by the fire type mm -hmm. yeah, aspect. I like that. Also, I want to mention, I'm sure you can see it on the camera. Her hair, I want y'all to get into this, okay? Mind you. So I know this wine is great, but this hair today, that's okay. really the star of the show for me. Bubba's looking great. So, <laughs> just want y'all to know. Thank but no, you. I, really, I really like this stuff. This is really, really good. No, I do like it. It dances around in your mouth. It, it doesn't fall flat. So I have a question. Okay, please. Mm -hmm. I may have asked you this already. I don't think so. I'm interested now. Which feels better to you? Coming into a cold house after a long, hot day outside or coming into a warm house after a long, cold day outside? Oh, definitely warm house into mm -hmm. the cold. Definitely. Um not that's a never thought about it like that but yes i would love to go into a warm house out of being cold because i feel as if i have a more of an attitude when i'm cold than i do when i'm hot okay so like if i can get into my humble abode and we're aligned inside of the house i'm, I'm good but when you go somewhere warm you instantly warm up and it just feels like a hug like the house is giving yeah. you a hug Isn't that what absolutely like? but at the same at the end of the day I'm just happy to come home nine times out of ten. <laughs> Thank God for traveling to mercies. That's okay. what I would say when I walk in the house, nonetheless. I'll figure out the heat later. What you want next? This one. Let me see. Yes. The South Africa. Finally, we got our way to South Africa. I like this one. Absolutely. Ooh. What you got? What you got? First of all, Oh, this Very one, strong. absolutely. It like, when you this sniff it, it like dances door. up your nostrils, does it not? When we're wondering about how we wanted to feel when we walk in the house, this one met me at the dough. Okay. <laughs> at the dough. In a good way though, it's not, yeah, it's not staunchy or anything. It's, it's, a, it's a smell, it just, but it lets you know it's there. Exactly. That's that extra 0.5% <laughs> that the super needle was lacking. Okay, look again, this is my first African wine experience, so I'm glad it's already making an impression. Oh my goodness, the mouth feel on that. It's definitely not bitter. It's a full taste for sure. Yes. It's definitely a full taste for sure. It's dry. It's on the drier side. It is a dash on the dry side. But when it first skirts through your mouth, it is so smooth and like luscious. Flavorful grapes. And you wanna know what I think this one really does? Mm -hmm. Is it's focusing on one fruit, but like doubling down on that one fruit. You know what right. I'm saying? It's not like you having to figure out, you taste the plums, all these other different things. This one is like, it's grapes and they stick to it. I have a question for you then. Yes, my love. Would you want to be great, like one of the greatest mm -hmm. at one thing? Okay. Or be good at a lot of things? Ooh. My thing is, in order to be able to be the greatest at that one thing, you have to know so many different levels and components to that one thing. So at yeah. the end of the day, yeah. I'm still really great at a lot of things. Yes. Okay. In being great at that one thing. I like that. So you, you say that there's there's a myriad of like things within one thing. Exactly. I got you. Okay. If you're gonna like reach this. that level of greatness. Okay. And that's why you more than likely can't be just super great at a whole bunch of different things. Exactly. Because there's intricacies. Oh, 
I like that. Okay. Um, I think I, me capping myself at just being good at something would probably bother me. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that there will always be a time in which, like, I'm always striving to be great at something. So me just being decent at a lot of things, I think I would still leave it unsatisfied at the end of the day. Right. So I think that I might have to take being great at one thing right now. With that one thing, I think I then could like pay and influence and assist and support a lot of other people in the things that they're great at. And then kind of by association, be connected to that thing. Exactly. I think I've always been interested in like, tell me what the dream is that at night you probably wouldn't even want to say it out loud because they would think that it's too big. Tell me that dream, like right now. Mm -hmm. And like, you would be surprised of the people that are like, oh, you knew I had one of those? And I'm like, oh my God. Yes. Has one of those. You should have one of those and you should feel comfortable speaking on it. You should speak on it. If you're great at something and you feel like you're just going to get greater, say it. Say like, this is what I do. I'm really good at this. I'm going to keep getting really good at this. You should be able to say that. We have to get into this Coco Bond. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely have to get into this Coco mm -hmm. Bond. This is what we've all been waiting for. I already said this is my favorite bottle out of the three. So. I'm with it. Uh, Coco Bon Estates Roasted Oak Red Blend. I see what they can do. The Coco Bon. So while you're pouring that up, let me ask you a question. Sure. If you could live in real life and experience one TV show, sitcom, movie, okay. and you could live it in real life, what would live it be? Live it. Yeah. Live it. Not like be a, a guest. No, not like be a guest, but like, wow. like if you could, like if you could put yourself like in that time, in that show, with what was going on. And wow, that is a really good question. The era, good the question. fashion. Um, that. Seinfeld. Wow, is my favorite show of all time. Okay. So Jay. I think being listen, being on Seinfeld to me, and this is one of my only critiques of Seinfeld, is that they never had a consistent or just like main black character at all. So if I were to be on Seinfeld and like fill in as a representation of that, okay. I feel as if that would have like opened that show up to a wider audience. But yeah, just that concept of friendship, I feel like that show really showed you the randomness, the development, the growth, the ups, the downs of just like having friends that regardless of what they were going through in their own individual life would just show up for their friends. Like that's the theme of it. It's literally a show about nothing. It's literally about nothing, but it's <laughs> the greatest the greatest show ever. So yeah, I think that I would be on Seinfeld. Okay. Shout out to Jerry Seinfeld. Let's get into this Coco Bond. Villa. This? This one right here, let me see. Let me tell you what this one does for me. Let me tell you what this one does for me. Oh my goodness. The body of this one is a very full body, first and foremost. There's nothing lacking in this. Body yada 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 yada. But this also has that like oaky, smoky, obviously it's a roasted that that taste, but it literally I don't know. It feel like when you ask me, like, would you rather walk into a room that's hot? This one is like you're walking into like an oak cabin, and like <laughs> the fire's been burning the, for a absolutely. while. What do you feel? Do you taste any of the the flavor? What other flavors do you get? Okay, first of all, I, first of all, I have to get into the first thing. The first thing about it is the mouth feel. It is absolutely silky. It is velvety. Satiny, it feels like this absolutely delicious, just an experience. As it's so smooth, it is so smooth. Like I can't, I can't even get into enough how smooth this is. And it's sweet at first. Like you would think the roasted would be hard, like not harsh, but heavy. You know, kind of just like it's haughty a word. It's just like 
have that brevity to it. This one is like, hey, yeah, this is an old cabin, but still gonna have this be pretty straight. Pretty smooth in here. It's an old like cabin, it. but things are plush. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the vanilla, the vanilla, right when you when you get over the smoothness of it, the vanilla is a really sweetness about it, but it ends very dry. But not bitter at all. But not bitter, no. No. The more the more you go at it, the smokier I think it gets. Like when you mention experience, I feel like this one definitely has its own show to it. After you breathe in more and you just yeah, absolutely. When you, when you breathe the air in and you taste the air in your mouth. But that's why I feel like wine is just a different, and red wine specifically, because I, I literally, I only, I drink red wine. I think I'm at this part of life. I just can't take liquor anymore. <laughs> my, well, body yeah, my body I'm different. I'm breathing different. different every day. <laughs> so it's just like red wine to me is like, that. that's everything. It, well, wine in itself, wine's supposed to be an experience. And it's like, I'll be somewhere in the setting might be a little more, you know what I'm saying? Upbeat and I'm literally the one person <laughs> to go with, with a glass of wine. <laughs> with a red. I feel as if, if like, Bars and clubs only sold red wine. I think bias would go down by 40%. <laughs> think about who wants to get red on anything that they're wearing. <laughs> Truly. That's my theory, nonetheless. But yes, this roasted, I haven't had the original of this, mm -hmm. but it's definitely a good quality wine, so I would yes. definitely recommend this for sure. Got the Trader Joe's, I want to say I got it for like 10 bucks. This is an experience where I knew it was going to be. The appetite to it, the aftertaste to it. It's that espresso. Oh, bit. Back in. Yeah, it's but it's like not it. overpowering. And I no, think no, no, no. Absolutely. When, when I was telling people about it, they were like, ah, espresso, you have me some espresso. Because it's not that prominent. And the espresso is an afterthought. I love that about it. Because it's not domineering. It's not like espresso on the wine. <laughs> <laughs> like, it doesn't Debo itself through. Oh, shit. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Oh my goodness, man. What a year. What a year. What a year, man. We have lost like some of the greatest people. Wow, what a year. Tell, tell me this, 2021, what are you gonna go out your way to do there? Like the one thing mm. that you can decide, I am gonna go out my way to like check this off. I've had an idea for this channel years wow. ago. Absolutely. And I just was like, oh, I gotta do this first, I gotta do that first, I gotta get this first, then I'm gonna go here first. And then life just starts to happen. You're so busy trying to do what you gotta do so that you can do what you wanna do that you never end up doing what you wanna do. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely think that coming out of this pandemic, um, that I want to be able to fully immerse myself. And I've started that by starting my channel mm -hmm. and focusing on this, putting myself out there Definitely. and having people like Phil come on and taste I this about to say, man, It is a privilege, a privilege, a privilege, a privilege. Because people don't ever think about it long term. Like when you put things out there, regardless if you think it's great or what you think the, the recognition of it is immediately, like it exists in the world forever. So right. when she goes on to be everything and the greatest i wish he does like it's gonna be so dope for me to be able to like show a super early in the process <laughs> like episode because i will be back okay i might oh, no, sure. so i will definitely be back so this is just the first of whatever will come for her for sure so yes to be a part oh my gosh <laughs> to be a part bubs man just to be a part because like literally like i i take Friendships very seriously. I take connections and true, true relationships seriously. And you've always taken being like a friend of mine very seriously. Like you've never been like a wishy-washy person. I've never had to doubt, you know, where you are when it comes to like being there or being like an allegiance in any which way or form. So like that's been something I can definitely say super proud of you super proud of whatever it is that she's going to accomplish super excited thank you super excited. i love you i love you i love you and i love this wine no yeah this is my favorite i love this wine <laughs> this is my favorite for sure let me see i think i got another question for you if, yeah. I, if i if i can sure well of course we have nothing but tape and time okay it's all that you now you have <laughs> you have utilized both coasts you lived okay. in virginia mm -hmm. you lived in california Mm -hmm. Now, if you could have any city where literally not only to relocate, 
but you are also a millionaire at that. Oh. What city in the country would you decide to live your millionaire status? Oh my goodness. I need a specific city. A specific city. I would choose LA. Okay, I, I, I look, me too, but like, you can't, unfortunately. You okay. gotta be somewhere yet. you haven't lived yet. So where I haven't lived yet? Yeah. Okay. I would have to say Atlanta. Atlanta. The only issue that I've been hearing from other people in regards to living in Atlanta versus living in LA in regards to acting and entertainment is just that Atlanta doesn't have the infrastructure. But okay. that doesn't mean it can't. Absolutely. It. We see what Tyler Perry is doing exactly. in Georgia as we speak. Exactly. Absolutely. And what people have to realize is Hollywood is is old as hell. Back when it used to be called Hollywood Land. Come on now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Hollywood is old, so of course they have the infrastructure. Atlanta's still budding yeah. in regards to entertainment. So, I definitely would choose Atlanta because I want to be a part of that. I, I want to be a part of that growth within yeah. the infrastructure of Atlanta and black the entertainment influence. specifically. And yeah. influence it. You just don't want to do it for yourself, but you want to influence the whole like landscape yeah. of it. But I want to put my name on yeah, that bad boy. Absolutely. You see what Tyler is doing? Yeah, absolutely. Bugs coming too. So this is not but. just a channel, this is a network. Right. Thank <laughs> you. Okay, you see what Oprah did? Oprah didn't even have wine. Absolutely. Okay, Oprah didn't even have wine. Absolutely. Sure. Okay, so Atlanta, I like that. That's a good answer. I like that. My question to you is what has been your favorite thing that has come out of this? Was there good things and bad things? What was probably been one of your favorite things? Uh, one of my favorite things, alignment, I would say. Okay. I think that I, I no longer need to see it in person to utterly and undoubtedly believe it like I, I can't show you like any grand things like or hand you something that I might have accomplished through this pandemic mm -hmm. because I feel as if the things that I was like gifted with are so internal but I get eventually you will see it externally I think that this was the most internal revolution I've ever like been a part of in my life. I feel as if I was willing to say, I think I've done well up to this point, but I'm willing to say I don't know everything and I'm not perfect and I'm not, you know, great without the source that I'm connected to. And I think that God was like, oh, okay, if you let me be the, the true author and director of this, it's lit, <laughs> you know? So I think that he's literally allowed me to He's given me a sense of like faith beyond anything that I've ever had. So I think that that's, that's been dope. That's probably been my favorite thing. I think that um, a, a very loud embrace of, of who I am. I think that I can walk into like a chapter going forward and say like, I'm, I'm willing to, to make mistakes. I'm willing to not be perfect. I'm willing to possibly fail, but to be able to say like, still worth it every day, you know? I wake up every day just super thankful. Like, So I'm glad for like an enhanced level of, of gratefulness and thankfulness for sure. Mine isn't as introspective as Phil's, but y'all know, y'all know I love me some verses, okay? <laughs> I love me some verses, y'all. We used to treat verses like it was the club. We locked it in, so that's the we closest used to, thing. But I love that, I love Absolutely. that that has forced people inside and that we're inside and it's forced people to connect more. I think that this made people connect in a way that the initial thought and idea of what the internet was supposed to okay. be. Okay, I like that. Definitely. But what the internet has morphed itself into yeah. can be ugly sometimes. It forces people to connect and, you know, bring positivity to each other more so. You know, people were sharing things. Phil has a whole plant parent playlist. Yes! Okay? Shout out to all the plant, plant parents. Plant parent playlist. Apple you Music. Know? That's dope. Thank you. So, Phil, top three tonight. How are okay. you rating uh, I'm going to go, probably my third place would be the Globarati. Still good, I really liked it. It did have the like, the noticeable like plum flavors. And I'm like, 
it's pretty dope that I actually tasted the plum for the first time because I feel like I always kind of, not always, but I see plum a lot on wines, but I'm like, I don't taste it at all. I feel like I actually noticed it in this one. Okay. Second, I'm gonna go with our South African gym. This one was good. I think that the the sharpness of this one, it really kind of stood out. A again, I feel as if this one met me at the dough. Mm -hmm. This one definitely, like I said, it stuck to the grape. I like when I asked you, like, we want to be great at one thing or good at a lot of things. They were like, we'll be great at grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the one I'm going to write home to moms about. I'm going to go with the cocoa bar. I like the cocoa bar. Um, mind you, the roasted oak concept i'm, I'm kind of big on i'm like i'm big on themes i think it's dope whenever you can do anything that just like makes your makes it distinctive that might be the key to like me maybe getting a little bit more into roasted oak wines is that espresso concept because I, I like that i like that this has been dope this well, has been really, really i definitely dope. thank you for coming on phil definitely this has been awesome Yes, I'm glad to have you and I thank y'all for tuning in to us. We've got us some beautiful red wines. Like I said, if you want to see anything different, comment in the box below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And cheers me one last time. Yes, absolutely. I love you. I love you too.